14 Best Discontinued Food Items We All Miss Number 14. Burger King Ribs Hungry for some ribs but don't want to pay full price at a restaurant or spend time cooking some at home? Well, Burger King was the perfect joint to grab a small portion of ribs. First introduced in the summer of 2010, they became such a success that the fast food chain was actually running low on ribs a week before the limited time offer was ending. The ribs were more of a snack size. One order came with a pack of six and included barbecue sauce on the side. The three-inch bone-in ribs cost eight bucks, and by the eighth week of the promotion, they sold over 10 million grilled pork ribs. Crisp and Porter plus Bogusky produced the advertising campaign and featured flying pigs which did an excellent job in convincing customers that a fast food place could make a good barbecue rib at an affordable price. Number 13. Doritos 3Ds Even the original Doritos couldn't compare to Doritos 3Ds chips. It made one-dimensional chips taste so boring and look dull. First launched in the 1990s, it rose to popularity in the mid-2000s, and it made snacking so much more fun. These bloated chips were easy to pop in your mouth and had a hollow center filled with cheese air, and for some unexplained reason, they just tasted better too. Flavors included nacho cheese, jalapeno cheese, and zesty ranch. Even though Doritos 3Ds are discontinued throughout the United States, you you might be surprised and delighted to know that they still exist online, marketed as Doritos 3D Queso Mexican Chips. If you don't believe me, check it out for yourself. Number 12. Trix Shaped Fruit Cereal Our childhood was shattered back in 2007 when Trix changed their shape lineup from fruit-shaped cereal to spherical pieces instead. But you might be surprised to know that the grain originally uses circular pieces and changed it to be fruit-shaped in 1991. During this time, they also released new flavors that included orangey orange, lime green, grapeity purple, and lemony lemon. Wildberry Blue was another flavor that appeared but was discontinued in 2006. It is believed that General Mills decided to reverse to their original puffs of popped corn in response to an online petition to bring back nostalgia. But the change also broke the hearts of many other children who enjoyed the fruit-shaped cereal. Ah, uh, now my childhood feels like a total lie. Number 11. Sour Altoids Ah, the candy of yesteryear. When you think of Altoids, sour mints don't really come to mind, but in fact, the sour candy was once a beloved treat. The incredibly bitter, bright-colored candy made lips pucker and delivered a punch of flavor. They were first sold in 2004 and came in five flavors that included apple, lime, mango, raspberry, and tangerine. After six years, they were discontinued in February 2010 due to a lack of sales. A Wrigley customer service representative told Bustle.com if a product isn't selling well, they sometimes have to, unfortunately, discontinue. It. Fortunately, there is still hope because the best way to get a product back is to call their service hotline and give feedback on how much you loved the sour candy. Number 10. Taco Bell's Volcano Taco, Spicy Chicken Crunchwrap Supreme, and Chicken Caesar Burrito. Taco Bell has graced us with some very unique food options that they are always reinventing their menu. Back in 2008, the Volcano Taco hit the menu and gained people's attention. Ground beef, lettuce, and cheese all smothered together in a bright red shell topped with a spicy nacho cheese dubbed Volcano Sauce really did wonders on your taste buds. Taco Bell made it a permanent food item in 2009, but eliminated it four years later after the fiery Doritos Logos Taco was introduced. The spicy chicken Crunchwrap Supreme was available from 2006 to 2010, and it wasn't made for weak stomachs. Complete with chicken, lettuce, tomato, sour cream, and lava sauce, all stuffed in a tostada shell, it sold popularly with Taco Bell fans. The Chicken Caesar Grilled Burrito was Taco Bell's version of a Chicken Caesar wrap, but with a twist. Unveiled in the summer of 2003, it contained your traditional ingredients of chicken, lettuce, dressing, and crunchy red tortilla chips. The burrito has gained a cult following, and Facebook campaigns have popped up every few years to bring this burrito back. Number 9. Dunkaroos You can't go wrong with the Betty Crocker product. First introduced in 1990, this snack-sized package was found in every kid's lunchbox. The cookies came in a variety of different shapes, most commonly a hot air balloon. Kids got hyped up on sugar as they dipped the cookies in the colorful frosting. Other flavors included graham cookies with chocolate icing, vanilla cookies with strawberry icing, and chocolate chip cookies with rainbow frosting. Containing 10 small cookies and a small section of icing, it always left us wanting more. It was discontinued in 2012. However, However, it is still available in Canada. Due to such high demand, General Mills announced a campaign in 2016 called Smuggle Roos, which encouraged Canadians visiting the United States to bring the popular snack to Americans who craved it. Thank you, Canada. Number 8. Planters Cheese Balls As fast as they appeared on shelves, they disappeared just as quickly when they were discontinued in 2006. Planters offered no explanation as to why they pulled the product, leaving many customers missing the crunchy and cheesy snack. Many people took to Facebook and online petitions in an attempt to bring back this favorite snack, but to no avail. 
No trace of cheese balls can even be found, not on Amazon or eBay. However, there are knockoff brands and similar snack products such as Oots cheese balls, but they aren't the same. Unfortunately, it seems like there is no sign of planters producing these tasty little cheese puffs. It appears that the company has solely focused their food line on peanut and nut-based snacks, which is a shame considering how deliciously awesome these were. Number 7. Butterfinger BBs These were the ideal movie treat and Halloween favorite. Even Bart Simpson couldn't keep his hands off these Butterfingers. Not only did it rock every child's sweet tooth when the BBs came on the market, but it made snacking easier due to its little ball format. They were first introduced in 1992 and were suddenly discontinued in 2006. But despite much uproar, the company didn't bring them back. There are still several petitions circulating online in an attempt to have Nestle produce them again. Butterfinger replaced them with Mini Bites in 2009, but the bigger square candy don't compare. Number 6. Oreo O Cereal You can't win them all, right? Introduced in the late 90s by Post Cereals, this crunchy cereal was a favorite among kids. It was like eating Oreo cookies for breakfast. In 2002, the grain was reintroduced with real cream filling, and another variation called Extreme Cream Tastos had Oreo-filled flavored marshmallows. Mmm, so delicious. In 2005, it became discontinued in the United States. As of 2006, it is currently available in South Korea. Anyone up for a trip to South Korea? Number 5. McDonald's Chicken Selects and Fruit and Walnut Salad At one point in time, McDonald's was on a roll in offering healthier food options. Their chicken selects were a refreshing alternative than their regular chicken nuggets. First introduced in 2002, they remained a permanent menu item for over 10 years. They briefly returned for a limited time in March 2015, only to be removed again. The fruit and walnut salad were a wholesome snack that many of their customers favored. However, due to the fast food chain's massive size, McDonald's regularly tests new food items rigorously, and these food items Items, unfortunately didn't make the permanent cut. Also, a lack of sales in smaller chains was another decision in eliminating these food items. Number 4. Kellogg's Yogos Search long and hard, but these little suckers are nowhere to be found. They have been discontinued for a number of years, and they will surely be missed. These tiny yogurt-covered fruit balls came in a variety of colors and had an outer shell, but oozed with creamy goodness that melted in your mouth. It was a great treat to share with friends or eat by yourself. It's unclear why Kellogg's ever got rid of these, but it's speculated that poor sales were a primary factor. Sadly, as most items that don't sell well, they are discontinued. But their yumminess will continue to live in our memories. Number 3. The Wonder Ball the Wonder Ball was America's Kinder Egg full of surprises each time. So what's in the Wonder Ball? The round chocolate candy was made of pure milk chocolate that came with heart-shaped candy and a collectible sticker in the packaging. First manufactured in the early 1990s, the product originally contained small Disney figurine characters, but it was withdrawn in 1997 after several consumer groups and other competitors claimed the toys were a choking hazard. So three years later, in April of 2000, the Wonder Ball was redistributed with candy instead of toys. Since then, the Wonder Ball has included a variety of themes aside from Disney like Care Bears, SpongeBob SquarePants, Pokemon, and Winnie the Pooh. After four years, the Wonder Ball was discontinued. It was rumored that a child had choked and died, but it was never confirmed if that was the cause of the discontinuation. After nearly 12 years in February 2016, the Wonder Ball was re-released again under a Despicable Me theme complete with candy and stickers. Number 2. Hershey's Chocolate Swoops Lost but never forgotten Looking back, I would have to say these were one of the tastiest treats to hit stores. The sliced chocolate chips that resembled Pringles came in many different candy bar flavors like Almond Joy, White Chocolate Reese's, and York Peppermint Patty, featuring limited edition varieties like Strawberries and Cream, Toffee, Almond, and White Chocolate Peppermint. While many assumed it was potato chips coated in chocolate, it was actually just solid. It made for a great eating experience as it was mess-free and the chocolate melted in your mouth. But with only six slices in each container, it didn't satisfy candy cravings and made people want more. Despite a unique shape, the chocolate swoops disappeared from shelves in August 2006. And like most good things in life, good things must come to an end. Number 1. Heinz Easy Squirt Ketchup As a young child, we were always told not to play with our food. But when Heinz released their Easy Squirt Ketchup in 2000, every kid couldn't wait to get their hands on a bottle. It came in a variety of colors like Awesome Orange, Funky Purple, Stellar Blue, and Passion Pink. Of course, to any parent, it might look gross and even unappetizing, but it was marketed towards kids and they sure loved it. Not only did it make lunch or dinner time a lot more fun, but Heinz boosted their sales and sold more than 25 million bottles of ketchup before pulling it from store shelves in 2006. But why? Well, kids get bored and parents weren't willing to go out of their way to buy colored ketchup for the whole family. But I'm sure those kids are all grown up now and it would be nice if Heinz brought this product back for old time's sake. Subscribe for more videos.